The University of Tennessee Medical Center is our region's only academic medical center. Our mission is to serve through healing, education, and discovery. Our goal is to share the knowledge of our physicians and staff in these health education videos as you make healthcare decisions for yourself and your family. I think to answer the question of what is an aortic aneurysm, you first have to answer the question, what is the aorta? The aorta is the largest blood vessel in, the, in your body. It starts on your heart, travels down the length of your spine, and feeds all the organs of your body. When the aorta is in the chest, we call it the thoracic aorta, and when it's in your abdo abdomen or stomach, we call it the abdominal aorta. Sometimes over time, the aorta develops a weakened area, and this weakened area can grow over time. When it reaches a certain size threshold, we call it an aortic aneurysm. If it grows to a size of around five centimeters, it has a risk of rupture, which is a very serious medical condition. This is the reason that we're concerned about uh, aortic aneurysms and making sure that our patients are uh, knowledgeable on this topic. If an aneurysm reaches a size of around five centimeters, it has a realistic risk of rupture. Rupture occurs when a tear develops in the aneurysm and the patient experiences uh, severe internal bleeding. This is a very serious condition with a high mortality rate. Patient may complain of sudden onset of back pain or pain in the abdomen that radiates to the back. You also may have nausea, vomiting, dizziness, uh, loss of level of consciousness. If you experience anything like this, it's important that you get into the healthcare system as soon as possible. The risk of death from a ruptured aneurysm is unfortunately very high. The traditional teaching has been that half of patients that have a ruptured aneurysm will never make it to the hospital. Even if you are one of the lucky ones that do get into the healthcare system, there's no guarantee of success. Traditionally, the mortality rate has been around 50%. We've become better over time at treating aneurysms in a ruptured state, but even today, um, it's a very serious condition with a high mortality rate. There are various treatment options available for aortic aneurysms. The most common treatment is to do absolutely nothing but just have it followed and checked on every six months to a year. If you have a particularly small aneurysm that's been stable for several checks, you may even need it checked less often than that. Other than that, if you're smoking, you need to stop smoking. If you have high blood pressure, you need to take medicine to lower your blood pressure and try to live a heavy life, healthy lifestyle. Unfortunately, the aneurysm will never go away, but with a proper follow-up plan, we can reduce the risk of it enlarging and rupturing over time. Now, if you do reach a size threshold of around five centimeters, there are treatment options. The more traditional treatment is an open repair. This requires a trip to the operating room and an incision on your abdomen. In that scenario, we would replace the abnormal area of your aorta with a synthetic graft effectively reducing your risk of rupture over time. This unfortunately though requires about a week uh, in the hospital. A newer treatment has also been available for the past 20 years and it involves the deployment of a stent within the aorta. You may have heard of someone getting a stent in their legs or stent in their heart. This is a similar type technology but it's been designed specifically for the aorta. It rechannels the blood flow through the stent and outside of the aneurysm so that the aneurysm will actually shrink over time lessening or even eliminating the risk, risk of rupture. We hope you'll join us soon for another medical moment. Visit utmedicalcenter.org or call the Healthcare Coordination Office at 865-305-6970 to learn about services available at the University of Tennessee Medical Center.